Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to test your Ionic application on in a web browser or on an Android device. So first of all let's do it in a web browser. You want to open up terminal or command prompt if you're on Windows or terminal again if you're on something like Linux. So you want to do cd to your project directory, mine is on the desktop right here. So you want to cd to this part so it has all these files and folders in there. And once you're in here, you type in Ionic Serve, click enter, and your website or your application opens up in the web browser. Let me just sort out this web browser. So there we go. We have our application. This is our chat tab, our, our account tab. So this was just the default application that was generated. And that's fantastic. So that's working. And there's a few commands that you can type in. So restarting the application, if you want to go to a certain URL activate and disable console and server logs or if you just want to quit just press type in Q or quit click enter and as you can see if I go back to this application refresh and it says this can't be reached because it's now shut down so that's testing it on a web browser which is fantastic if for whatever reason you can't test it or you don't want to test it on an Android or an iOS device so now let's show you how to test it on an Android device let's just clear this first Again, make sure you've cd to your project directory, which I've already done. To test it on an Android device, you need to do ionic run Android. And this isn't going to work for me. Because it says the provided path is not an Android project. If I open up my project and it says go to platform, platforms, all I can see is iOS. There's no Android platform there. And that's because Android is not added by default. iOS is if you're on Mac, if you're on something like Windows, then none of the platforms are added and you need to add them manually and you can only run them if you're running it in the web browser like I just did. So to add an Android platform, it's easy. Thankfully, you just type in Ionic Platform Android, click enter. And this is just all updating and just adding everything that it needs to add. Just make sure you've got the Android SDK all set up. It'll let you know if there's anything that needs to be set up right here in the console. It's very simple stuff. If you type in Android SDK into Google, go to the website, download it. Very simple stuff. If I go to my project platforms, as you see, we've got Android now. And if I type in Ionic Run. Android before I actually initiate this command ooh, This is bad. This is not what I wanted So because I actually had my device connected let's Select this device So it's just connecting because I'm actually going to run it on a physical device. This is a fantastic application called Visor for it, it, it is for free. It's just a Chrome application and it allows you to look at the screen of your android device and even interact with it so, so if i were to type with my keyboard on here it would actually type it's fantastic but again we're just going to be using it to see what happens so if i click ionic run android let's just see what it says it says no target specified deploying to device it's automatically picked up the device so if i just wait here it will now run the ionic application Okay, that's not launched yet. Build successful, so you're just building it first. So it does all of that stuff. So you don't need to build it manually. Oop, I just swiped. That's not what I wanted to do. It's just a bit laggy, but again, that is just this little application. That's not the phone or the application itself. Still, just built it. Taking a little longer than expected, I doubt. You know what? I'm just going to close this. 
do today? Uh, it's clearly not going my way. <laughs> Let's click select. Select the device. Okay, it hasn't launched it. Saying it's been encountered. Okay, I think I know why. So let me just close let me just close all of this down. And I'm just gonna try running it manually for a sec in a moment. So if I just do Ionic run Android. So it's then deploying to device, build time, build successful. Install failed internal error. Okay, okay. Let's let's just try running again it again and let's see what happens. It's weird because I did it not so long ago and it obviously not for this application because Android wasn't added. It's literally just launched now. So that must have just see as you can see it says launch success. So what I'm gonna do is try opening up visor again actually let's open it up via this sorry about this you shouldn't really have these issues because i'm just trying to show it you and test it and actually run it at the same time so if i type in ionic run android click enter so it's deploying to device hopefully this works this time my phone was actually downloading a few things before and it didn't work then and now this finished downloading it seems to work now which is fantastic so it's just launching the application up that's weird it didn't actually do this the last time because it act the application launched so let me just Launch it again. I'll just close down the application. So let's just wait. Build successful. You'll be launching the application any moment now. And the application isn't showing, which is really, really weird. Because if I go on to my menu, it was called. Please it's called Ionic is awesome. Ionic app is awesome. So click that. There you go. That is what is meant to show up. So if I click on chat, if I click on account, we can access it like we would any other application. Again, it just seems to be going weird because I'm just going to test one thing. I'm going to close Visor down. I'm going to close my application down on my device and in here i'm going to run it and see if it runs without visor actually launched because it did that one time after all the downloads had finished on my device and yeah it's literally launched now i'm actually going to try and open up visor So it's just connecting. As you can see, it had launched. I assure you, I didn't open it manually myself. So yeah, that is the situation. If you are trying to test it on a web browser, it's Ionic Serve. If you're testing it on Android, make sure you do Ionic Platform Android. They're at the Android platform. And if you're once you added the platform, you need to do Ionic Run Android. That will build it and run it as well and you shouldn't really have any issues just because i'll try to build it run it and show you 
at the same time by using this visor which is in beta so they're just having a few conflicts like i said you really shouldn't have any problems with it so that's how you test your application if you have any questions also if you're interested in testing it on ios and you haven't seen the setup video in this series check that out because the ios testing is very easy and we covered it in that series if you like so if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comments Post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.